Hello and thank you for visiting our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will take a good look at Turkey's new ballistic missile. Recently, Turkey test-fired a short-range ballistic missile, SRBM, newly developed by Roketsan and named Typhoon, over the Black Sea. Typhoon was fired from a mobile launcher in the city of Rizi on the Black Sea coast and traveled 561 kilometers, or about 350 miles, a range more than twice that of current missiles in Turkey's arsenal before crashing off the coast of the Black Sea port of Sinop. Typhoon has the longest range of all missiles developed by the Turkish defense industry. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has vowed that Turkey will further increase the range of its ballistic missiles. Currently, our missile range is 565 kilometers. This is insufficient. We will increase it to 1,000 kilometers, Erdogan said to Turkish media after the firing test. However, the Turkish authorities did not provide detailed information about the missile, but the successful test launches of the Typhoon SRBM indicates that the serial production and large-scale deployment of the short-range ballistic missile by the Turkish Armed Forces is imminent, further affirming the nation as a regional power with formidable military capabilities. The country is understood to have secretly worked for several years on developing the short-range ballistic guided missile and other guided missile systems. Roketsan unveiled the Bora-1 ballistic missile, which has a much shorter range of 170 miles in 2017. According to Roketsan, the Bora-1 has a 470-kilogram warhead and is accurate to within 50 meters. Turkey reportedly fired one of these missiles at a Kurdistan Workers' Party PKK, target in Iraqi Kurdistan in May 2019. The range and the payload of the Bora-1 comply with the Missile Technology Control Regime MTCR, of which Turkey is a member. The MTCR is a multilateral export control regime that seeks to reduce missile proliferation by compelling its signatories not to export drones or missiles with payloads exceeding 5 500 kilogram and ranges over 190 miles. The Typhoon missile is the first known missile Turkey has tested that exceeds this range. Its payload, on the other hand, is not presently known. Well, before the Typhoon test, there were some suspicions that Turkey intended to develop a missile with a greater range and payload than recommended by the MTCR. In April 2018, Turkey's defense minister said the upcoming Bora-2 will have more advanced missile technology than the Bora-1 and a longer range and more locally produced components. The guidance systems of the Bora-1 are American-made. However, whether the Bora-2 would stay within the MTCR's recommended range limit was questionable. After all, to do so, the longer range would be less than an extra 20 miles and the payload a mere additional 30 kilogram. According to Turkey's state-run press, the structure of the Tayfun's launcher is very similar to that of the Bora. It's possible perhaps even likely, that Tayfun is the same project to develop the Bora-2 since Roketsan is overseeing it. Unlike neighboring Iran, which has the largest ballistic missile program in the region and seemingly seizes every opportunity to flaunt and parade its missiles before the public, Turkey has been quite discreet about possessing such weapons. The program's origins go back to the 1990s when Turkey reached a deal with China allowing it to produce Chinese B-611 missiles under license. 
That led to the creation of the J-600T Yildirim tactical ballistic missile using Chinese technology. Those weren't revealed to the public until 2007. The two known variants of that missile, with ranges of 90 and 180 miles respectively, neatly fit within the MTCR's recommended limits. Tehran, by contrast, is not a signatory of the MTCR, and just last February boasted that its new K-Bar Shikan ballistic missile has a range of 1-200 miles. In September, Iran fired several ballistic missiles into Iraqi Kurdistan, targeting Iranian Kurdish opposition groups. Turkey may have chosen now to test the Taifun to remind the broader region that it is also a missile power with a significant reach. Turkey might also have intended to demonstrate the growing reach of its firepower to Russia, signaling its disapproval of Turkey crossing certain red lines in the Black Sea, or other areas where Ankara and Moscow have diverging interests. Of course, Turkey may have no intention of exporting the Taifun. It may just want a longer-range missile to enhance its deterrence. That wouldn't be a stretch given that, in 2011, the Turkish government said it had plans to build a missile with a 2,500 kilometers, 1,550 miles range, although it notably did not specify whether it would be a ballistic or cruise missile. So, that's all for today's video. If you find this video informative, please give it a thumb up and share it with others. And please make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you in our next content.